Ms. Crawford, what does it feel like to be one of the most famous and most beautiful faces and intelligent ladies in the world? Famous, right. Intelligent, not always. But it, it's great, whatever it is. <laughs> Can you tell us about the book? Are you thrilled, you know, being in another book and uh, being talked about and so forth? Well, it's and so amazing, on? all of the uh, nostalgia. But there's a lovely gentleman here, Michael Volbracht, who is one of the greatest artists I've ever known. Would there be any way that you'd, uh, again... Right there. I I, is there any way you could possibly do another movie again? Would you go back on the screen? They don't write for ladies anymore, but I have news for you. We're here to stay. Oh, <laughs> you've never left. You've never left. <laughs> I understand you're flying away tomorrow on Pepsi-Cola business. That keeps you busy and active. And Yes, and I'm going to... Uh, Europe to make a picture. Hi, how are you, dear? Can you tell us what the picture is? No. It's, it's bad luck. It's bad luck? Uh-huh. Until the contract is signed, I never talk about it. What are you doing with that Sony bit? You have no light. Excuse me. <laughs> Here we go again. What's it like seeing? Wait, uh, which is the actor you said the artist is at? Where is that artist you said was George Bazaar? No, I said. Which one? Only a picture of you and he together. No, an artist. Oh, which is yes. right here. Why don't you get a picture? Did you have? Your hats like that. Can you tell us who he is, Miss Crawford? Michael Volbracht. She's the only one who knows. He says you. I'm the only one that knows how to pronounce his name properly. Volbrach. Does Michael paint or sculpt? He sketches, the and he's a beautiful, beautiful actor. And there's Mr. Grizzard over there. Hello. How are you, George? Thank you for coming. I need to relate. It's good to see you. Thank you. You know George Grizzard, sure. don't you? George, how are you? Good to see you. This is Michael Volbrach. Russell. Oh, now what is this? <laughs> this is television. Oh. It was, I'm so glad that you came to accept the award. And I hear that there's a rumor that you're going to be returning to the stage. Well, I hope so. I'm going to hear a score on Thursday, and possibly I'll be coming back next fall. We'd really look forward to that. It would be fantastic. How did you like all the stars turning out to honor you here tonight? Well, I thought it was del delightful, and I saw many, many old friends that I hadn't seen in a long, long time. I saw my friend, Miss Gooch, who played Nanty Mame with me, Peggy Cass, and lots of other friends. It was just wonderful. And I, it was a very warm evening, which they've been for the last, I feel as though it's been a festival. You couldn't say it, but I could say, if you had only been in the movie Mame, I would have enjoyed it a lot more. Rosalind Russell, one of my favorite stars. Thank you, thank you for coming and talking to us tonight. Good night. God bless. Rosalind Russell. Going up. Rosalind Russell, the reason for the party, Joan Crawford hosting the party in the Rainbow Room for Rosalind Russell. There she goes. The immortal star is here tonight. Rockefeller Center. The fabulous, Hello. beautiful. Oh, thank you, Lee. Thank How you. are you tonight? Fine, thank you. Beautiful. You look fantastic. Thank you. Really slim, gorgeous, you know, more beautiful common, than ever. You? Mr. Coleman, how are you? Joan, how are you? Nice to see you nice again. Nice to see you. Cable thank television. you. I don't know. I think you missed uh, Joan Crawford. She just no, left. we just saw her. Don't you saw her? Yes. Yeah. Left. Didn't she look yeah. beautiful? Okay, good night. Nice speaking to you. Peggy Lee and Joan Bennett. We <laughs> <laughs> missed Peggy Lee and I knew I shouldn't have gone to that. Hello. Can you tell me what your name is? Mrs. Herbert Nelson. Well, Mrs. Nelson, what brings you here tonight? Rosalind Russell. She's Rosalind. a friend of mine. Have you seen the book? Yes, indeed. And can you tell us some secrets about Miss Russell? I can't, except she's the most delightful woman I've ever known. And she and looks she's beautiful a in the book. Of mine. 
and she's marvelous. And she was delightful last night, a great treat for anyone to see. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, I thought that the way she answered everyone's questions and how beautiful she looked in her white sequin dress was a treat, and she's an old, old friend, and I adore her and always will. Thank you very much. And coming through, of course, is Paul Morrissey. Paul, how are you? Good to see you. Yes, I see you are, Corey. Hey, well, it was good to see you, Paul. Listen, <laughs> I, you had a fabulous review in Newsweek about Dracula. When's it going to open? Uh, in a month and a half. And are uh, you a big fan of Joan Crawford's? Yes, the biggest. Okay. Paul Morrissey. Um, you can turn that off now. I'm not a star. All ready? Here we are, Prince von Furstenberg, and what brings you out to another star-studded celebrity Ooh. night? <laughs> Just came back, I can't answer you. Where have you been? I was in Italy. And working on your men's collection? Absolutely, all and the you're time. Gonna, you're going to have a new uh, preview for the winner, or what's going on in clothes? In about two weeks' time, and I hope I'll show it to you all. <laughs> okay, all right, thank you. Prince von Furstenberg. All New York's beautiful people coming into the rainbow room for the... Who is it? Who is it? She's a Who is she? Is? Can you introduce me? I'm Butterfly McQueen, and I'm appearing in The Wiz. We open at the Winter Garden in December. <laughs> now I have to go down and sign a host of autographs. Lena Horne used to talk about you to me all the time. Oh, really? How nice. How nice. When your big film was Gone with the Wind, right? Pardon? That famous boy. Yes. Can you give us a little of that, that um, the Gone with the Wind? Uh, oh. They don't want to hear that still, <laughs> Miss Scarlet, Miss Scarlet. <laughs> They're tired of Miss Scarlet, Miss Scarlet. <laughs> don't you think so? No. How do you like the party? You having a good time? Oh, it's fun. I am uh, had my picture taken with Miss Rosalind Russell. And, uh... Did you get to see Joan Crawford, too? Dear, I had a rehearsal today, so... I wasn't... She left. Well, if anybody can make me laugh, it's always you. How do you like the book? Oh, Are you in the book? I don't know yet. I really don't know. Uh, tell me, is this only cable TV? It's only cable television. But about a million people see you. That's enough. That's nice. <laughs> what kind of a message do you want to send out to all your fans out there? Come to see us in The Wizard. It's a family show. You can bring all the children. And, um, well... We hope to be there a long time. We're opening in the Winter Garden. We're going down to Baltimore, Detroit, and then in December we'll be back here at the Winter Garden in New York City. And this has been a lovely party. I've met so many people, <laughs> our fans as well as the people who worked in the theater. So tell me, you, you're happy with our new president? Oh, uh, haven't you noticed that I came out when the Republicans came out? Because I like to come out when the Republicans come out. I feel our country is cleaner, more prosperous, more orderly. And my heart is broken over Mr. Nixon. I have to run home and send him a postcard. So Thank you. you. Butterfly McQueen. You. Off she goes. One of the other glittering stars that are making this night at the Rainbow Room one to remember. There they are. Mrs. Wilson, did you like Gypsy? What? Did you like Gypsy? Oh, I adored it. We saw you I... there at the Angel Langsbury's opening of Gypsy. Did you have a good time? I certainly oh, yeah. did, and it, it shows that New York has come back. That's the exciting thing. Tonight was like in the old days when people really cheered and loved a show. What do you think, girl? How'd you like Gypsy tonight? Oh, I thought it was stupendously inspiring. It really was. And, uh, and I kept thinking about Oh, what a night it was when Merman did this and we're comparing him. I, mean, I, ever, I think everybody thinks that, but they think it, that uh, Angel has her own particular way of doing it, and uh, it's great, and uh, they, love it. they love the production. I never saw any ovation quite like Angel got tonight. It was terrific. Not, at least nothing in a long, long, long time. How do you like seeing Ruth Donnelly and Joan Crawford and Rosalind Russell? How do they look? You've known them over the years. You've watched them, and what's happening with well, the stars the today? It's down here low, so you can't see them too well. <laughs> no, no, they look fine. In fact, I wondered about, you're talking about the party here. Right. Well, there was uh, Joan, somebody said, look, she has to stand there and take all those flashlight pictures in her face. And how does she stand it? And it must get blinding eventually. But she still did it, and she's still doing it, I think, somewhere. 
She's a great star, and you're great to talk to us. Thank you very much, Earl Wilson. It's a good column, and we'll look forward to reading about tonight in, in Earl's column. Hello. You ready? The beautiful Peggy Lee, opening night at the Waldorf. You were so sensational. Thank Your act you. is so facial. Let's Love is a great new song. Ah, I love that song, and I love Paul McCartney for writing it. I know that you're singing a lot of the young stars and uh, doing a lot of the, the music done by the younger composers. Do you enjoy them compared to, say, the, some of the older composers, Rogers oh, yeah. and Hart? And... But I, I enjoy the uh, other composers, too. And I always have. Actually, I've been doing contemporary music for, oh, ten years, but it seems I've watched to be you. That, you know, really, you know that, that. But I, I, I think I have a little bit more of it in there now. And it's fun. It's really fun. And Cy Coleman, of course, the, one like of the great composers. I would like to know you put me in that particular category. <laughs> okay. And, of course, you know, you'll be at the Waldorf now for a couple more weeks, isn't that right? Uh, through October 5th. And, of course, I'm going to be interviewing you for Andy Warhol's Interview Magazine and yes, uh, yes, yes. look forward to a lot, yes. asking you a lot of questions. And, uh, you are so gorgeous. Those lights are Thank to die you, my dear. I must tell you. She looks so beautiful in the light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she looks more beautiful every year. Do you like coming back to New York? Do you like I playing in New York? I love it. Yes, I do. I you know I do. I just really love it. We're going to be talking about pop history. And I know, of course, you paint and you're a poet. And I talk about all of it. Talk about it. We will. OK? Yes. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. Wow. <laughs> what, like that? Isn't that fantastic? Look at that bag. That's what I think that's a lovely bag, isn't it? <laughs> For the ladies. <laughs> You're still the, the sexiest Thank you. and the most fabulous. <laughs> the immortal Peggy Lee. Get her. Who is this? Go ahead. Is on? Excuse me, can't you talk to me for a minute? What's your name? Yoni. Yoni, what brings you here? What I bring here? Nothing. I just take it low. What's the light and going on? Well, you're beautiful. You should be a movie star. Oh, thank you very much. It's very funny what happened. I think that really, you know, Joan Crawford got the last laugh. They were giving, you know, Rosalind Russell a citation from the Dramatic Academy of Arts, and you know what? And she said, and Joan, the beautiful Joan, I'd like it very much if you'd come up here next to me. And they were waiting for Joan Crawford to come. Only Joan Crawford left about 30 minutes ago. Anyway, that was one of the funny things that happened. Good night. Nice Thank to you. see you. Um, Bye now. Bye-bye. We're all Have a nice evening. Thank you. Ladies, did you have a nice time tonight? We had a wonderful time tonight. <laughs> How did you like seeing Joan Crawford and all the big stars? I always well, like seeing Joan Crawford and all the big stars. How did you feel they looked? How do you think well, they all look? Joan Crawford is a very, very old friend of mine. I enjoyed seeing her very Didn't she look fantastic, fabulous? She looked fantastic, but so did Roz Russell. I was very excited. Joan said she was going to Europe to make a film. It would be exciting to see that. I think she's going to do lots more than make a film. I think she's got another career ahead of her. I think they both have. In the theater? Yeah, I hope so. Do you think as Rosalind Russell was implying at the end that she, her first love was the theater, she'd be back on the stage? Hopefully. We'll know the end of next week if she'll be back on the stage. Fabulous. That's great. Can you tell us any more inside news about Rosalind Russell being on the stage? But I do think you'll hear next week. Thank you very much. Did you have a nice time? Yeah. Had a marvelous time. It's absolutely a smash party. Well, good. I Can't wait for the next one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll see you. Did you have a nice time? Oh, you're terrific. Did you? I had a great time. Tell me, what was what was what was the most impressive thing about the whole evening? Oh my dear, I don't, well, Joan Crawford was here. Russell, Russell. There's a lot, a lot of movie stars. <laughs> Leatrice Joy. She was married to John Gilbert, I believe. And I sat with some friends, and I had a very nice evening. Did you hear the rumor that Rosalind Russell is going to go back on the stage, and we'll hear all about it next week? No. Did you hear that rumor? I did. I did indeed. Well, I don't know whether it's true or not. We love it. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. OK, Peggy Cass. Can you tell me, did you have a nice time tonight? I had a what is it for? Uh, this is for cable television. Doesn't Vogue like cable television? Loves it. We had a lovely time. We love coming to the uh, Rainbow Room. It's the best room in New York. And this is the best party in years. And you're one of the best editors in the world. Oh, thank you. Good to see you. Leon Lerman of Vogue. Do you know Mr. Morty Gottlieb? Mr. Gottlieb. Ah, there he goes. OK, good night. Did you have fun? Yes, lovely. Delightful. How did you like seeing all the stars? It was wonderful. Makes you long to see them again permanently. OK, thank you. God, who's, who's Mr. Gottlieb? I don't know who he is. Yeah, there, listen, see how in Boston Russell is. What are you drinking? What? This lady here? Sylvia Miles, the beautiful Sylvia Miles. Flabbergasted by all the stars, Sylvia? Cheers.
<laughs> Here he is. Back, what back. Do, what do you want to know? Okay, what do you want to tell me? Well, uh... What's your latest, um... My latest play is Another, another yeah. Mystery. Your latest play. And where's that beautiful wife of yours? That's not my wife. It's a young lady whose name is Doris Vidal, but she's getting ready to go into the elevator. Now. When does your new mystery open on Broadway? Uh, well, it's probably be in the winter. In the winter. What's it going to be called? It's called Murderer, and by Anthony Schaffer, who wrote Sleuth. And who's going to be the big star? I'm not going to tell you anything yet. Is it going to be Rosalind Russell? That's the rumor we're hearing tonight. It's going to be Rosalind Russell. Did you, did you find <laughs> Sorry. Her beautiful ruby necklace. There he goes. Off he goes. Okay, now hear this. This Arlene. Did you? Sylvia. 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 Now Joan Crawford will talk to me. Don't tell me you won't. Now come on. You having a nice time? Cable television. Oh, Sylvia. Is one of New York's top stars, Sylvia Miles, saying she never appears on cable television, but Joan Crawford does. What's wrong with Sylvia Miles that she won't come on cable television? Is that what's holding her back from real stardom? Thank you for coming. Are you ever beautiful? Gorgeous. It was a marvelous evening. Thank you very much. <laughs> what, was the, what was the most... The simplicity of the very great star, Ross and Russell. She is a great star. And the fact that all the theater people were having such a good time, like little children at a birthday party. And it was wonderful to see. Everyone and getting one, together again. Right. And, uh, and it, was, it was like a, a family party. It really was. And I loved every second of it. And I'm very grateful to Mr. Springer and all involved. And to Miss Russell. You're very beautiful. You. And uh, who, did you, who made your dress? It's it, fabulous. It's old as blazes. It's a Norell gown, and they just don't change. So you're thank you. Thank you. I can tell you, like all the great stars, you won't change either. Well, so far, I'm hanging together. Thank <laughs> What's you your very name? much. Julie Wilson. Julie Wilson, thank you the for talking to us. Bye bye. Thank bye bye you. now. Good night again. Good night, Mr. Wilson. Uh, can you get her coming right through the door? Julie Newmar coming through the. The beautiful Julie Newmar. <laughs> Julie, how are you tonight? Oh, who are you? Well, I'm Corey Hay, and we've talked many times before. Here we have. And we gave eulogies for Candy Darling Wait together. I'll introduce you to someone. Oh, yes. Sure. This is a great screenwriter. This is my friend Watt. <laughs> this is Hello. Nelson Lyon. Hi, Nelson Hello. Lyon. How are, How are you? You You're writing a great strip for Julie? Oh, yeah. No, he's not. You tell him what no. you're writing. Uh, just uh, writing uh, a script to stay alive. <laughs> That's my uh, concept. You're writing the greatest Puerto Rican dream. That's true. Don't, don't tell the world. Yeah, Julie is always very political, and I want to know what she thinks about Nixon's pardon. Oh, well, it's all right, but in about two years, when we find out the truth of the matter, when we divest, divest ourselves of all that pain and anger. And do you think the rest of the Watergate uh, people should be pardoned, or Ehrlichman, yeah. Mitchell? I don't know. We have to think about other things these days. You're looking so beautiful and so glamorous. You really should be here, you know? It's, it's so glad that you, you got here. Where's Rose? Where's Rose? Where, 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 where's everybody? Rosalind's right in the next room. You miss Joan Crawford. She's gone. But they'll all be looking for you, the beautiful Julie Newmar. Thank you for talking to us. Sure, I want you. Of course I do. Right guess on. Who? This is... Guess who? I think you're in a Broadway play, right? How'd you guess? Is it Lorelei? That's right. Well, I interviewed How'd Carol you? Channing. I saw the play. Hey, Carol, come on. You know, you know, Carol was at the opening of Gypsy tonight. I know. See, that's why she couldn't come here. Did you go to Gypsy yourself? No. I wanted behind to. the camera. Gee whiz. <laughs> <laughs> Rita is not doing anything. It should no, be. No, I'm not. I'm will not. Be I'm my name because is what, we're what, going what? to do something together. I know. We're going to do in... Uh, we're doing it we're now. Doing? We're doing it. This is our number, and I'm Rita Gam, and this is... Say your Paul name. Dumont. Thank you very much. Go see Gypsy. Angela Langsbury is a dream. A true Broadway star returning to Broadway, and Carol Channing was one of her first to stand on her feet to clap for Gypsy. S-P-R-I-N-G-E-R. -E oh, boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what are you... Coming through the... Am I still on? Okay. Yes, dear. Look what a beautiful party. Just really great party, John. Thank you so much. Done so much. Could you turn around and face the camera a little bit? You've done so much for, really, the people of New York with the consumer affairs and all those fabulous things. What are you working on now? What's... Uh... I'm working on television now, every single day, helping consumers on NBC on their local news show. Well, that's good, and I'm, I'm glad that you turned out. Did you have a nice time here tonight? I had a marvelous time. I was at 
MGM with Rosalind Russell and with Joan Crawford and with Henry Fonda. And it's marvelous to be at a party, seeing them all and honoring marvelous Rosalind Russell. Has really time gone by? Have you seen them over the years, or you only see them at sort of parties like this? No, I see, uh, I run into them occasionally at a party, but not very much. Their lives and mine aren't the same, and most of them still live in Hollywood, and I'm, of course, back here in New York. So it's very nice old times. Okay, well, thank you very much. Hope Hampton, you can't go out that door without saying hello to me. Oh, goodness, dear, how are you? I'm what do fine. you want me to say? Uh, whatever you're what thinking about. What a beautiful about. night it was. Okay. I thought it was a gorgeous night, but when movie people get together, it's always gorgeous. I could kill myself we're not in color to get all this light blue and blonde hair and your blue that? eyes. You're so beautiful and looking fantastic. Are you going to come back to television? Uh, I will. I will. Promise. You know what we me, miss. You. I do everything. You know Tony Carlisle. Yes. Hi, Tony. How are you? Good night. Thank you. This is nice. Okay. Mr. As you can see, into the room at the Rainbow Room, we have Shirley Fonda and Henry Fonda coming out. You remember? Mr. Fonda, we certainly enjoyed you and Clarence Darrow on Broadway, and, and it was great that you brought it to the American people on television. What's that in front of you there? <laughs> this is a microphone. Oh. And there's Miss Fonda. How are you tonight? Fine, thank you. You look very beautiful. Are you proud of your father? My father, Playing. that's my husband. Uh, your husband. <laughs> Who is husband. That? Husband. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Are you going to come back and do something else on Broadway? Yes. Can you tell us what it is? Mr. Darrow. Okay. What did I, what did I just, you know, I really messed that up. I don't know how I did that. Oh, people do that often. Don't feel bad. But, you know, it really was great that they took it from Broadway and put it on television. I really enjoyed that. Oh, I thought I that was it. fantastic. I sat and watched it the night that we opened in Detroit. Instead of going to the theater, I watched it on television. But don't feel badly about what's that. A lot it, of people do that. What's it like that. being married to Henry Fonda? It's like being married to anyone else. Really, they do everything the same. Believe me, and you have to work harder. And how long is it's back on Broadway? I just got back from it being away. Now, Darrow no, is still, Clarence, no. are still playing on no, Broadway? We just, or? We just closed in St. Louis about three nights ago, and we opened on Broadway in, I think it's March. Huh. We well, I'm going to have to catch it on the stage, too. Thank you very much for talking to me, Mrs. Fonda. Bye now. Night, Judy. Okay, there I go, messing it up again, but I guess we recovered. The stars, as you might well guess, couldn't be nicer, more patient, and more kind. So when you get a little flustered by being confronted with a major star, they th we're going to close out the show with you. What did you think of the fa What did you think of the fashion chic of Joan Crawford and Rosalind Russell? Well, I thought they looked absolutely marvelous, really marvelous. As Love glamorous and beautiful as ever. Yes, I did. There it is, from the expert, Eugenia Shepherd. And Earl Blackwell behind him. How are you, sir? Hello. Good to see you. What did you think about the glamour and chic of Joan Crawford and Rosalind Russell and Henry Fonda? I love them, and I've known them a long, long time, at least 40 years, and I adore, adore them both. Thank you very much. Eugenia Shepherd, Earl Blackwell. Lynn Redgrave. Monique Van Voren. Hello, darling. How are you? We'll face the camera and I'll be better. <laughs> <laughs> how did you feel coming in contact with all these great immortal stars? I don't know. I, um, I just came in from Europe today and I'm so tired. I uh, have always been thrilled meeting exciting people and it was very exciting evening. But none of them are as beautiful as you, Monique Van Voren. Well, we'll see when I'll become immortal. <laughs> okay. We we'll hope we're going to see another movie with you too, Monique. You okay? Um, okay. Uh, in the victim of uh, Franco Rossellini. Okay. Thank you and good night. Monique good night. Van Voren. Out. This is our Corey Hay saying good night from the Rainbow Room and be sure to stay tuned to Channel C 11 and 12 Sunday.